Insulting the Chinese national anthem. Tom Grundy is editor-in-chief of the Hong Kong Free Press, uh, currently in Bangkok. Police said three people aged 18 to 31 were suspected of turning their backs to the field or not standing when the Chinese national anthem was played at the beginning of the match. And certainly police filming the crowd is, is nothing new at local football matches. But if they are found guilty, they risk fines of up to 50,000 Hong Kong dollars or three years in prison. Hong Kongers have to stand and act solemnly, and it's up to the courts to decide if you're solemn enough. Under what law do they have to do that? This is the national anthem law, which was passed in 2020, weeks before the national security law, which many may have heard of. For years, Hong Kong crowds would boo the anthem or the mainland Chinese team, which certainly irked the local and national authorities. Someone has already got three months jail for editing a video so that the anthem was replaced with a protest song. It was only a few weeks ago that Glory to Hong Kong, an actual song that many during the 2019 pro-democracy protest, I guess, wanted to be the Hong Kong anthem, was banned practically. Even Google removed it from search results and YouTube. And has that been the direction of travel since the passing, well, not only of the anthem law, but as you mentioned, the national security law, just a gradual but steady clampdown on all forms of dissent? Well, we've seen most of the political opposition now behind bars or in self-exile, newsrooms raided, a phrase as well as a 